Sometimes when we go to pray, we might get stuck on where to even begin or what to say. But what we need to remember is prayer is just talking to God. There's not some routine we have to follow or hoop we have to jump through. Not that there aren't some great models though. There's certainly some classic prayers that we can read and think through and follow. And the greatest of all of those is the Lord's Prayer that we read in Matthew 6, 9 to 13. And in it, Jesus is just simply teaching the apostles how to pray. And it's not that when we read through the Lord's Prayer or say the Lord's Prayer that we're just trying to recite something, but we're thinking about the different parts of that prayer. I mean, it begins simply with our Father who art in heaven. And we can just stop right there and just think about that as our prayer. The fact that God is our Father and we are his children and that he loves us and that he wants to hear from us. I don't know if you're a parent or not, but if you are, you know, often what you just like most is to hear from your kids, to hear what's on their heart, to know what they're celebrating, to know what's discouraging them, just to know what they're going through. And God is no different. As our Father, he just wants to hear from us. Sure, he already knows what's on our heart, knows what we're going through, but there's something about verbalizing it that's special. It's special for us, and I believe it's special for him as well. So maybe today what you need to do is just remember that God is your Father. You are his child, and he wants to hear from you.